The vast Guyana shield forests span the northernmost borders of the Amazon rainforest, and you simply cannot find a more pristine example of iconic Amazonian jungle. Operation Wallacea are involved in the long-term monitoring of the management of Guyanese rainforests, generating ongoing comparisons between areas of forest that are set aside for sustainable use and completely protected, non-used areas of wilderness. School groups spend their first week in Guyana in the Iwakurama Field Research Center, joining the teams surveying every kind of flora and fauna, as well as aiding the annual monitoring that tracks the growth and regeneration of the forest itself. Uh, so I've been working with the, the bat monitoring uh, aspect of uh, Opwal's program uh, down here in Guyana uh, uh, throughout the, the program from 2011 to 2014. And so we can then use this long-term data uh, to derive trends uh, to monitor these communities um, as well as to look for any uh, noteworthy sites in terms of species richness or abundance and maybe focus in on that particular site for um, conservation uh, efforts. So this is actually my favorite species. She's being, she's a bit chatty right now. This is uh, Artibius lichiratus. So this is uh, one of the more common species here in Iwakrama. And this is the largest of the neotropical uh, frugivorous bat species. The third largest species of bat in South America. studying the amphibian and reptile diversity in the Avrokrama and Surama forest. So far not much research has been done in this region, so we keep finding new species records and even new species, which is very important information for the Avrokrama Research Center and also for the Surama village because they are trying to protect the forest, so the more they know about it, the better it is. So we're going out during the day and during the night because some species are active at night and some are active during the day. And then we do standardized visual transect samplings, which means we are walking along a line and record every species we see. And then for amphibians, the acoustic transect sampling is very important because a lot of species are living in the trees. So it's really hard to see them and for some species it's actually impossible to see them but because of their call, we are still able to record them because every frog species has its own call. So. So um, the Camera Trap data collected on this project will be used in three ways. The first is um, for a measure of relative abundance, which is basically how many captures of all the different species that might pass in front of these cameras um, that you might find divided by the number of trap nights. Uh, the second is occupancy. Um, and occupancy is basically whether or not a species is present or absent. Uh, the third way is um, for animals who you can individually identify. Uh, for this project, that's jaguars, ocelots, pacas, um, even possibly tapirs. You can do population estimates through uh, a capture-recapture process. Um, and you use that as a proxy for measuring, estimating um, home range or territory size, and then you can estimate how many individuals of that species are in a given area. In their second week, students take to the rivers, moving daily between rough field camps. The waterways provide a different range of surveys and a fresh view of the forest. Few areas on earth could claim to be as well preserved as the rainforests of Guyana. Here you are a part of actively assessing the effectiveness of sustainably using rainforest, generating models that can be used to protect threatened rainforests everywhere. <laughs>